When do you want to seek medical care? Whenever you see any of these signs or symptoms of a stroke that we just discussed, it'd be a good idea to seek medical care as quickly as possible. With a stroke, the greatest thing that's going to help a person having a stroke is to get them to a medical facility as quickly as possible. Now I'm going to cover a test which is called the Cincinnati Stroke Scale. And this is going to demonstrate a quick way that you can determine if someone's having a stroke or not. It's just a better way to identify the symptoms of a stroke. It's based on three factors. <clears throat> the first factor is going to be the facial droop. As we discussed earlier, um, the facial droop, what you want to do is when you're talking to someone, you want them to show you a big smile, and if you can, have them show you their teeth. So you want to do a big smile, get all those, those muscles in the face working, and <clears throat> if it's positive for a stroke, it's going to look like this. If they're able to smile without, with both sides looking equal, then there's a good chance that that, that test is going to come back negative. The next step is called pronator drift or arm drift. What you want to do is you want to have the person that you suspect of having a stroke, you want to have them put their arms straight up in front of them like this and you want them to close their eyes. If they're healthy and not having problems from the stroke, then both arms will stay up. You just have them close their eyes for a few seconds and their arms will stay up. If they're not and they're, they're showing signs of a stroke, one of their arms is going to drift down by itself and they won't be able to hold it up. The final test is you want to test their speech and see how their speech is. So what you can do is you just give them a simple phrase to say, such as you can't teach an old dog new tricks or some type of simple phrase that's going to test. And what you test with that is you see if, if they're able to speak clearly without slurring their speech or without garbled speech. If they're, if they're showing signs of a stroke, their speech isn't going to be very clear and it's going to be garbled speech or it might not be clear. They might also be confused um, in terms of repeating the statement that you ask them to repeat. So with all those, um, there's three different things. If they test positive, being that they're showing the symptoms, then that would mean that would lead to a good probability that they're having a stroke. And <clears throat> again, the quickest thing you want to do is to call medical personnel as soon as possible, get them to the hospital as quickly as you can. Um, with that test, if they pass everything and they're not showing signs, those signs doesn't necessarily mean that they're not having a stroke. And so the potential of them having a stroke is still there. But you still might want to get them, still a good idea to get them seen by medical personnel.